I got invited into Crest and actually didn't really know what to expect, but I, I decided to do it and it has truly changed my life. I, I've been involved in a fair amount of, of training programs and, and, and off-sites and those kind of things. Um, Crest by far exceeds them all. It, uh, it combines good content, that some of which I was familiar with, with an experience with other guys that are, and, and ladies that are in a similar station in life have a similar perspective on life, share our, 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 our faith in the Lord, and, and kind of it all came together in a way that has been so impactful for me that I can only be very grateful to have been part of this. I'm, I'm, I'm a changed man because of Crest. I came to Crest two years ago and it's been really, really exciting to, to be part of this program. It's, it's, I really think it's been uh, more than what I expected to be. I did come with some hesitations at first, kind of not really uh, knowing what to expect, but in the long haul and now finishing it up, uh, uh, this cohort, I've been really uh, pleasantly surprised and then God's really used this uh, program to, to define some things in my life. Press turned out to be quite different actually than what I had uh, signed up for. I uh, envisioned the curriculum uh, being quite committed to a lot of reference to leadership tools and resources. But actually what happened was, I would say probably 80% of the material covered dealt with uh, uh, me as a person. And part of the values of Crest and is that uh, if, if a leader leads himself or herself well, then the rest will follow. And uh, so I think uh, it was quite a lot different than what I expected. But in, at first I thought maybe I got into the wrong program. But by about the third encounter, I realized where we were going and, and uh, there was, it was tremendous. It ended up being what I hoped it would be uh, and more actually. You're not quite sure what you're going into when you first uh, go. You have a loose uh, appreciation and these days there are so many things that promise a deliverable and you're never really sure at the end whether you're going to get it. Uh, I hoped I was going to get it and uh, I did and I got more than I bargained for actually. Yes, I've had um, comments made from staff at work. Uh, my daughter has commented, Mom, you're so much more relaxed. You're happy now, Mom. And I can really see that um, probably this last year since I've come to understand who God says I am and who God sees me to be in His eyes, that's helped me to also define my own guiding purpose. And that's to build and to plant um, God's kingdom in the lives of people so that they can be spurred on to um, live a full life of worship in God. I think what changed for me while taking Crest is to begin uh, understanding who I am, first as, as a person in Christ, then as a leader, and then to realize that there's a dream within me that needs to be lived, and then actually being able to move into that dream and to begin living it out. What Crest has done for me is it's brought great clarity what my purpose is, what I'm here to do, what I'm, what I'm good at, what I'm wired to do, um, and how I can use my, my particular wiring, the, the design God put in me, how I can use that uh, for His benefit, for my own benefit, and for the benefit of everybody around me. I think at work, the workplace, uh, people watching me take this course, um, they're quite conscious of the number of hours you know, that I'm away. Uh, we're in a very intense workplace. And so I'm investing time and they have always been encouraging because they could see the positive results. My life has changed very, very dramatically. I've had a life vision for the past 18 years, 18 and a half years since, specifically since February of 1990. I've been blessed to have been a very strong strategic visionary. Um, what's happened though in the last two years is it's been crystallizing the dream. It has been a journey of interdependence with a wonderful group of cohorts, of colleagues, of friends. I remember the very first session um, when we were going through the unpacking of your life story and the various colored post-it notes for very meaning, having different meanings that really began to 
shall we say, peel the onion back in our lives so that we could really begin to both unpack it and begin to put it back together in a way that God really wanted it to be. Well, the guided reflection, the most significant part with, of that was the input from my peers. Because I am a reflective person, I am a reader, I am a learner, but I was in this little world learning all these things. And Crest brought this whole large group of people to build into my life, to notice things about me and affirm things in me. And that blessing was huge in coming to understand how God shaped me and how I can best work with how he's made me to be. I had never really had the experience before of intentionally sitting down and, and really looking at the different events in my life that have shaped me to be the person I am today. And, and I realized that although some of those experiences were negative, um, they've ended up being a real positive uh, because they've, they've created some skills and abilities in my life that I'm able to use now as I sort of focus on my second half dream. The, the part about discovering your strengths I thought was great. Um, you, you've, you start to look at yourself and see some analyses of who you are and you get to reflect on what do I think makes me tick. When I entered Crest, I expected leadership, leadership courses, leadership books, to plow through leadership. And to start off by doing self-discovery was a frustration, but that's probably become a highlight because there's stories within my story that I've come to realize that shaped me. The way Crest really um, it gives you an opportunity to break your testimony down into uh, into a much broader perspective, and and for me it was it was it was fantastic to go through. That. It was a little painful at times, you know, but that's how you grow as a as an individual, and and uh, I really really enjoyed that that segment, and, and we all grew much closer, and it was the first uh, the first encounter, so we all just really bonded right away. When we had to go through articulating or, or writing out and coming up with our dream, like the, the sense of calling, why you're here, the purpose statement. That was difficult. That was a hard time. Everybody struggled. Uh, and uh, I think that speaks to me that people have them in there, but they're so buried under so much uh, busyness of life and demands of life and all the conforming we have to do in life that doesn't just pop out. We had to kind of mine out these dreams, and I had to as well. I think um, the whole the whole format of Crest being over to your program uh, and really being relational is I think that's a key word and, and I think you know when you when you even you know parse that back to our own lives as Christ followers everything in the kingdom of God happens via relationships and if that's if that if that's how God works with us I think they've really caught onto the model of what God wants in our lives and so the relational factor that takes place through this process is so important and you need time to make that happen the small group interaction that we had. When we had a chance to break up in smaller uh, groups and to share our learnings about different things and our experiences was probably one of the most uh, profound parts of the whole experience for me. Um, there's view very few times in our lives where we can just be completely transparent and share about struggles and uh, areas that, uh, that we needed to share or have prayed about. And um, to me, that was just, um, just an incredible thing to go through. And, I've built up relationships, a few key relationships through this experience and through those small groups that I hope will last a lifetime. It really was an impactful experience for me. When I look at, uh, at Crest and I reflect back on it, the, the thing that has impacted me the most is the people that I've met here. I've made some friends for life and it has just been an amazing experience to, to come here every quarter and, and get together with other people that are in a similar station in life, that are, have a similar view on life, that share my faith in the Lord, and, and just be able to, to work through some issues and, 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 and share in a very, very safe environment. One of the things that I feel that is a huge benefit for a husband and wife team to be together at Crest is that you're growing together you're learning together, and when you go home, you can walk the walk together and be an encouragement to each other. You can um, challenge each other, and but be, most of all, be an encouragement to each other. I think if you think 
you where you're at or that you've got it all figured out or that you don't really think you need to move. And maybe you don't even realize that, but your life you know, illustrates that. I think Crest is, is so, such a key opportunity for you to go to another level of definition as God leads you. I mean, if I was to, to encourage someone to take Crest, I would say to get on the journey, to really discover who you are, because leadership starts with yourself, and really to discover who you are in Christ, how he's made you, the, the competencies that he's given you so that you can use them well in the kingdom. We're so busy in our lives, and although we want to make change, just the busyness of our lives, the tyranny of the urgent keeps us from being able to make those changes. And I think if you're, if you're ready to make change in your life, if you're really beginning to ask questions about the second half of your life and what kind of difference you're going to make, how you're going to use your skills or, or giftings, um, Crest plays a very important role in that and can. I encourage you to look at what leadership development you really want to impact upon. And in that, this is a journey with you and with God, and most importantly, with other brothers and sisters who encourage you to look at who you are and how you're gifted and how you're blessed. And in that, they can determine what your purpose is and what your values are, what your strengths are, and a little bit of your weaknesses and how you can set your priorities in your life and then how you can strategize and execute that. If you are interested in doing that, then I sincerely ask you to consider taking Crest. If you only have one life to live, and if it's true that the years after 40 are the best and have the potential to be the best and the most significant years of your life, then don't let anything, the cost, the amount of work, the time away, don't let anything hold you back because that time will go by and you can invest that time and have your life be different. Don't wait as long as I did to do it. I mean, I'm over 50 now and uh, I wish that I had engaged in this process when I was in my 40s, early 40s. I know I'd be much further ahead today. So if you feel any leading at all to, to ramp up in the latter half of life rather than wind down, and you know there's more in you that you're not tapping, uh, don't wait. Don't put it off. Get in this program and uh, find out what that calling, what that part of your heart is that's saying there's more to life than where I'm at. I would just encourage everyone to take Crest in terms of uh, just making yourself a better person, a better uh, business person, a better pastor, a better mom or dad or, uh, or, or husband. It's, uh, it, it speaks to everybody.